and welcome to another day on Kababayan Today. Ako po si G. Tonji at nandito po tayo sa Los Angeles, California. At ngayong hapon na ito, kausap natin ang mga teen opera singers. Kasama natin si Dominic at si Danielle Adapon. Pero kusapi muna natin si Danielle. But they are two Filipino-American sisters uh, uh, who have been studying classical voice and musical theater for most of their lives, performing in various venues such as Christ Cathedral, Hollywood Bowl, with many different artists such as Josh Groban, A Journey with Arnel Pineda, Sal Malaki, who has been on our show before of LA Opera, and uh, Dominique is an alumni, while Danielle is an incoming freshman of the very prestigious Los Angeles County of High School for the Arts. We have them here on our show, but let's start off with a bunso. Kasama natin si Danielle. Hello, Danielle. Hi. Uh, great to have you here. Oh, thanks. So, thank you so much for having me, honestly. <laughs> okay, so congratulations first and foremost. You got into the school. Thank you. It's very competitive to mm -hmm. get into that yes, school, right? Mm -hmm. So for the people that don't know what high school you got into, can you share or elaborate with us what it's about and why it's such a big deal? Um, well, the Los Angeles County High School for the Arts is a performing arts high school. And I'm going to be going there for the opera department. And it's really important because number one, my sister went there. And number two, I heard it's a great experience there. Okay, is there a lot of pressure because your ate went there and what if you didn't get in? Thank <laughs> God you got in, right? Mm -hmm. But kuhinde, how's that? Is there a lot of pressure to follow in your sister's footsteps? Oh, uh, well, it's not really a lot of pressure because um, like I don't have to like exactly follow in her footsteps. And since a lot of the teachers already know uh, Dominique there, it's gonna be kind of easy to get to know them better. Okay, wonderful. So let's talk about when, when did you start singing when did you realize that it was not just a hobby but it was something that you really wanted to pursue professionally um well my sister always um inspired me to follow in her footsteps because she started singing and then i would always sing the songs that she would learn and i believe i started taking uh voice lessons at around seven or eight and i started studying professionally uh about one and a half years ago Okay, so for the people that don't understand, what is the difference with opera singing that's very different from just your contemporary singing? Um, opera and classical is very technique-wise, as in uh, contemporary is very uh, freeform. What are you going to be singing for us today? Today I'm going to be singing A Je veux Vivre from Romeo and Juliet. It's uh, the aria sung by Juliet. In okay. French. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, we're, we're so excited to hear you perform on Kababayan today. Ladies and gentlemen, kasama natin here on our program, si Danielle Ayala. singer na si Daniela Dapon and now we get to meet the older sister ang ate ni Danielle Dominique is here in the house hello hi you are so cool with your hair thank you it's this vibe I get from you thank you very much it seems like you're really breaking this mold of what a opera singer oh, yeah. is right I love doing that like a lot of people look at me in and they don't expect that I can sing but I okay <laughs> yeah because opera is, is, is very different like yeah. I would 
think, oh, this girl's a rock star. Oh. I mean, she, <laughs> right? She's yeah. in a band. But you're mm -hmm. an opera singer. Yeah, actually, in high school, it's not only a performing arts school. You can also do, like, visual art and, like, painting and stuff. So a lot of people thought I was, like, a painter or something. But I was in opera, so <laughs> that was always a surprise for people. Okay, so would you consider yourself an artist? Yes, Is definitely. Okay, and going to such a prestigious high school such as the, you know, Los Angeles County mm -hmm. Performing Arts, you're surrounded oh. around art every single day mm -hmm. and it plays such a big role in your life. Um, how fortunate are you to be able to really pursue that passion, yeah? Yeah, definitely. I feel like going to that school was like the best decision I've made in my life so far. I don't think I, I couldn't see myself going anywhere else. So. <laughs> well, your sister definitely uh, takes after you and follows in your footsteps. How does that feel? You know, that's a big responsibility yeah. to be out there, right? To be uh -huh. a big sister where you have a much younger sister, four years younger, that looks up to you mm -hmm. every move you make. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? I mean, I just have to make sure that I'm making good choices for myself and in making good choices I know I'm setting like a good example for my sister so yeah. <laughs> okay so as a young Filipina American uh, how does it feel that uh, you're going to be going to Scotland very very soon and really representing? Um, I mean I freak out every day about it. I'm really excited. Sometimes I can't sleep because I'm so excited. Um, I think actually I'm the only Asian American who's going with the group. So that's pretty cool. And actually um, in the show, I'll be like sharing like my culture a little bit as okay. an Asian American. So that'll be So cool. let, let's explain to the people where you're going and what it's for, just to give them a context of what a big deal it is. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to be going to Edinburgh, Scotland for the Fringe Festival and that's the largest arts festival like in the entire world mm -hmm. and so there are like hundreds of groups performing, thousands of shows going on at the same time and I'll be um, participating in an opera. Uh, it's like a modernized version of Carmen. Mm -hmm. if you know what Carmen I've is. I've heard of Carmen. Okay, cool. And yeah, so it's going to be set in a high school. So in the original Carmen, Carmen is like a gypsy mm -hmm. and like Don Jose is like this soldier guy. But in our version, Carmen's a really mean cheerleader. Jose is this like dark outcast or whatever. And yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the way you're describing it, is exactly how I see you because here's this very classical, you know, you're an opera singer, uh -huh. but you are defying what that means just by how you are as a person. Uh -huh. You seem very modern and cool to me. And so what you're performing really in Scotland really define sort of who you yeah. are, right? So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm super excited about it. I mean, like, I really like anime, and I'm going to be playing, like, an anime fan. Tell us what you're going to be singing here on our program. Oh, um, I will be singing Butiana Mpasig by uh, Nicanor Abelardo. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, busted yes. out the floor, you know, for us, okay? Mga kababayang kasama natin, si Dominic Adapon. Let's watch this. <laughs> sa langit ay nakadunga Tila ginigising ng habagat sa kanyang pagpulog sa tubig Ang isang laraw ang puti at pusi
at ngayon naman kasama natin ang magka magkapatid po si Dominic at si Danielle Adapon, our teen opera singers. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. You really look alike. Uh, I can tell you guys are sisters. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about all this amazing stuff that you guys get to do and perform. I know that, you know, both of you are opera singers, but you were saying during the break that you've been able to watch your sister in a lot of productions. Mm -hmm. How does it feel watching your sister up there perform? Um, I feel really proud. I'm always in the seat, like, cheering her on. I'm just like, yeah, get him, and it's just really fun. <laughs> okay, so this is an honest question, mm -hmm. but is there ever a time where there's any si sibling rivalry? No. 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 <laughs> no? Do you guys ever fight at all, like normal sisters? Rarely. Like, like Very, tiny arguments. Like, that like, really small very really yeah. <laughs> well that's really good i mean that's a blessing isn't it yeah <laughs> um is it just the two of you sisters are there kuyas or brothers no just us and then all our cousins but <laughs> okay which is like the extended, yeah. extended family right i know that virginia your mom is uh, a great mom she was able to get in touch with us to share your story she's so proud of everything that you guys are doing what is your message to your mother that's really been here to support you all throughout this journey mom i love you thank you for everything that you do i can't even like imagine like you how you can do everything that you can juggle <laughs> that's super amazing and thank you for being so so supportive of both of us um we could not do anything that we do without you so thank you yeah she she's said. here I'm cry. <laughs> no but it's really important that you know being a filipina here in america you have sensibilities that are very filipino and then you have children who are growing up in america but it's the responsibility of the parent to really be able to still envelope them in the Filipino culture. And it's obvious that the two of you are doing so great in, in these passions that you're pursuing. So congratulations to both of you. We can't wait to see what the future has in store for both of you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, what a treat to have both of them perform for you here on Kababayan today, a duet with the sisters Danielle and Dominique Adapon. Oh, <laughs> 